my wife and I just brought home a toddler and we have a four-year-old newborn at home. So this video, no might make the most build, you know? That made sense, right? Okay, good. Let's get this over with. What's up everybody, Mark here from Remarkable Woodworks and in this week's episode, things are gonna be getting a whole lot quieter around here. That's what happens after you have two kids, right? They go off and entertain themselves and then you're able to just kind of like chill for a second, right? So this is the stuff that I'm gonna be installing today. It's called Sonopan Soundproofing Paneling. It's eco-friendly, non-toxic. Still not gonna eat it though. It comes in a four by eight sheet, similar to drywall. It goes up really simple, cuts easy. And I'm really hoping that this stuff helps keep things a little quieter around here now that both kids are home. Both kids, two, multiple. Oh my God, I have two kids. I first found out about Sonopan while I was attending the Toronto Home Show. They have this really cool demonstration where they take a box that's finished with Sonopan and drywall, they take a radio playing music at full blast, drop it inside that box, and you can barely hear the thing. So I'm hoping that I can have the same effect in my house. I plan on putting this stuff up in the ceiling, that way I can still hear the kids if they're down here playing and we're upstairs or something. I just won't have to hear the Netflix playing with Peppa Pig and the Wiggles. I could really deal without the wiggle stage this time around. Speaking of the home show, this will be my first year attending as a renovation ambassador. The show's gonna run for 10 days straight and I'm going to be there the whole entire time in the DIY booth. So if you're gonna be in the Toronto area, hit me up, find me at the DIY booth, try out my tools, and you can ask me all the questions you want. Invoice free, it's a pretty good deal. And the only thing I ask in return is a large black coffee. Just not from Tim Hortons. Okay, I don't wanna to sound too picky, but Tim Hortons is dirt water. Now I should probably tell you guys I'm not being paid to talk about Sinopan in this video. I just think it's a great product that not a lot of people know about. It's available at Home Depot. You don't have to do any special ordering. It's not complicated to install at all. And the end result seems to be much better than just putting up a thicker piece of drywall to get your space properly soundproofed. I feel like I had more to say about that, but I, I'm drawing a blank. It's this baby man, I tell you, it's it's messing with my mojo. Now marking the Sonopan panels can be a little bit challenging because your regular carpenter's pencils don't really show up very well. So if you can find a Pika marker that has white, that will be your best friend. It shows up great. If not, I find a regular Sharpie does a really great job as well. Or you can just use your knife, score the line a couple times, and then reference off of that if you're gonna be cutting with a saw. Now for cutting the sawdough pan, you can use a simple knife with a drywall square or just do the fancy knife and tape measure trick. You could also use a circ saw or a track saw, but I recommend that you hook them up to a vacuum cleaner or some sort of dust extractor to eliminate any debris flying around. You could also use this thing, a drywall knife, which now that I think about it, it's probably gonna take you forever and it'll kind of hack things up pretty good. I don't actually recommend that you use this. I feel like if you used your teeth, it would give you a cleaner cut. Now I absolutely love this saw. It's the FlexVolt DeWalt Worm Drive. I have no qualms about it. The only suggestion that I can make if you do pick one up before you make any cuts at all, stick something over top of the dust chute. I've got tape on mine, you can buy plastic inserts, doesn't matter what it is. Jam up this hole right here, you can thank me later. I should note, if you're gonna wanna do any cuts inside, you wanna do your best to protect your furnace. At the very least, turn it off.
Now, let's talk installation. I've seen this installed a hundred different ways. You can use a roofing nailer, brad nailer, regular drywall screws, but I've been told that you wanna minimize the holes that you're putting into the product as much as possible. So I like to use an 18 gauge crown stapler with an inch and a half staple. I like to use this one from DeWalt. It has a bump fire option. I can just shoot things on quickly and easily. And the inch and a half staple has more than enough strength to temporarily hold these guys in place until I can get the drywall up, which will secure things in place permanently. I know we're all sick of wearing masks, but anytime you're dealing with any sort of insulation, I recommend that you mask up. installing your panels you want things to be as tight as possible but if you come into a situation where there's a gap they have this acoustic sealant this goes into any caulking gun you just shove it in the hole fill it up and be on with your day really not one of you guys is gonna drop a that's what she said this baby's really killing our vibe boys if you have any questions about sonopan hit me up in the comments below or if you want to try your hand at it and you're in the Toronto area reach out and I'll hook you up with some free tickets to the national show because March 2022, we're back, baby. And that, my friends, is gonna do it for this week's episode. So if you like this video, please do all the things that you're supposed to do when that happens. Feel free to follow me over on Instagram. I love you all equally, and I'll see you when I see you.